we're just gonna ignore the hair and the face and the pajamas and the sleeping dog beside me. And we're gonna film a video about something I've wanted to talk about for ages and I'm obviously not gonna prepare as much as I should for it because that's just the way I roll. I hated every moment of that, I apologize right now. I talked about this, I think before, how I wanted to film a video where I talked about Mike, <laughs> what? Where I talked about Will Byers being gay from Stranger Things. Even though that's like literally the only thing I talk about on this freaking channel, so of course I wouldn't talk about anything else. But anyway, Will Byers is gay and we're gonna talk about it. Now before I start this video, let me just address some things. I'm not going to in this video say he's allegedly gay or that he could be gay. He is gay. I can give you some points and tell him why he is gay, but I'm not going to be like, I think he's gay because of this. I'm gonna be like, he's gay. And this proves it. I'm so sorry. I'm, it's like nine o'clock at 9.30 at night and I'm just really bored. Um, so I decided to film this video. So let's get into it. The one thing I want to talk about before we delve into all of this is just first of all, does the cast of the show and the crew talked about this before? Now, technically, um, the Duffer brothers have not said anything about this. They haven't really reported on this whole incident of everyone thinking he's gay after season two. Um, but Noah Schnapp did, which if you didn't know, that's the kid who plays Will. God bless him, honestly. He's like a little, a little bug. He did this little Instagram caption basically talking about all of the rumors and stuff, which is like super mature for a young kid this age. And it's like, it's a very mature response to the question at hand. So I think I'm gonna read it. Now this could be like completely disproving all of my points that I'm about to bring up, but I'm gonna bring it into it anyway, because it's still valid because God bless this little kid for jumping on the internet and giving his opinion about his character that he has some sort of attachment to, you know? Okay. So I thought it would be time to jump into the conversation. I've been reading stuff for a while. I think everyone here is missing the point. The author called Gary Schmidt came to speak at our school this week and he said that good stories aren't supposed to leave you with answers because then you never you because then you never question yourself and forget it a good book or a good show leaves a lot of unanswered questions to make you think which is what you're all doing for me will being gay or not is besides the point stranger things is a show about a bunch of kids who are outsiders and find each other because they have been bullied in some way and it got cut off that's fucking cool one second, one second, one second, one second. Who are outsiders and find each other. Be Who are outsiders and find each other because they have been bullied in some way or are different. Does being sensitive, a loner, or a teenager who likes photography, or a girl with red hair and big glasses make you gay? I'm only 12 and I know that we all relate to being different. And that's why I think the Duffers wrote the show the way they did. You can ask all these questions. I hope the real answer never comes out. <laughs> never comes out because he's gay. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna talk about this point for a little bit because I feel like someone's gonna bring this up in the comments or be like, stop making it weird, he's just like a kid. The thing is, is again, he's very much entitled to this opinion and he's allowed to do whatever he wants. This is his character and he's kind of claimed this character. He's gonna be playing it for many years beyond this point, I can already imagine. Um, so he can do whatever he wants. Um, and in this caption, he's very mature in his answer. He's like, you know, it's, uh, who are we to say? You know, it's, um, good shows leave you with many, many questions. And maybe in the future, we will get more clues to the answer. Maybe we won't. That's just how TV works. Now, I like this answer, and it's a very appropriate answer, and it's that very politician answer. But the thing is, is I really want Will's sexuality to be a little bit more apparent in the show. Now again, he is a literal child. I understand that point. Um, but again, he said himself that they are all like losers. And that's kind of a thing that's bringing them all together. That's what brings the party together. Now, 
it would make the most sense to me in a show like this that's mostly marketed towards kids and teenagers and adults. It's really marketed to like a large range of people. Would it not make sense to have a character who's gay? That's someone can look up to. Um, and him being this little sense, like this more sensitive boy who, you know, we have grown to love and appreciate, he just happens to like guys. Would that not work so well? So we're going to talk about that today. And a couple other things just before I begin. Before everyone's like, you're sexualizing children, blah, 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 which I'm first of all not. If you think me calling out a child like character for being gay is sexualizing kids, then you have some homophobia in you that you need to, you know, get off this channel. Um, and also, have you not realized that like, one of the biggest things in this show that all of us love is the relationship of Mike and Eleven. Those are children. When you all, when they like kiss or like see each other for the first time in season two, are you sexualizing kids? No, you just think it's cute and you just want them to be happy. That's exactly what I want for Will. So we're gonna get into it. Now, a lot of people have been speculating that Mike, or that Will is attracted to Mike, and I very much understand this. Because first of all, he's the one that he spends the most time with in this season, um, like Will and Mike, they spend the most time with each other during season two. Um, there are parallels. I think that this, I really didn't notice until someone pointed it out to me. A lot of the hints in the show about mm, my, Will liking Mike are very, like you don't notice them really at first but in the scene bef in the scenes before when L um like in the scene that technically takes place right after season one of Eleven like killing the thing and then her being lost in the upside down and she's running down that hallway and she's yelling Mike's name she's like Mike 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 where are you blah 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 that can be paralleled with the scene in season two when um, Will is trick-or-treating and he gets pushed over by the bullies and he's stuck in the upside down and he's yelling Mike's name. Mike, Mike, Mike. Do you see a similarity? Do you, we see that both of these characters very much are very dependent on Mike and they see him as some sort of hero in the group and they, idolize him in some way. My fairy lights are stabbing me. They kind of idolize him in some way and it shows an affection. Again, you could be maybe say that, oh, it's different. Is it though? Is it though? Hey guys, here's a cute selfie to just tell you, watch both of those clips and you'll notice they're the exact same. Really think about that. I'm just saying. Um, there, yeah, there are clear moments in the show. Oh my God. When you can tell that Will is... One scene that comes to mind, is, and I think this is the scene that I was like, mm, yeah, he's probably gay. Um, when the girl who called Will the zombie boy, which is like very rude by the way, she like comes up and she's like, hey zombie boy, wanna dance? He looks over at Mike and he's like, I don't want to, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Same, like. And it's so funny because it's like that's so like come on why else would he say that you know what I mean like we have to think about Dustin in this scenario would he be looking at Mike and being like I don't know he'd be like yes please come on <laughs> I know some people could say he's an introvert but he, can he not be an introvert and can he also be gay can we also mention that Will never has an attraction to <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. Can we also say that Will never has an attraction to like any girls in this show? I'm sorry, but it's like so blaringly obvious. Like even when they're all like looking at Max and it's like understandably Mike doesn't like Max because he's like, I'm still in love with Elle. And the, but like Lucas and Dustin are like, holy crap, she's so cool. And then Will's like, yeah, she's cool. But he's not like, oogling at her, oogling, 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 oogling. He's not oogling at her. He's like, really? Yeah, she's cool. You know? And it's like different. It's different. 
you know? He's more like amazed how, how cool she actually is because she's so cool. I love Max. Are we not gonna mention how when he was like trying to bring back his memories, he was like, um, and, um, Joyce was like, oh, you know, you like, when you were a kid, you like drew a rainbow rocket. A rainbow rocket. <laughs> Come on on people get it together another cute selfie to remind you guys all that i don't mean that will should get it together i mean all of you should get it together for not realizing this sooner bye <laughs> um now do whoa now do i think mike likes will probably not do i think that mike more just kind of was caring for Will in this time because he reminded her a lot of Eleven, which by the way adds to why he was so in a way like romantic with her and protective over her like he was with, is with Will. I don't think Mike necessarily has an attraction towards Will. It's people bring it up a lot and I'm, I'm a little bit like it's very obvious he loves Eleven so I'm not like completely on board with that. But I'm a little bit like, I can see where you're coming from. Like in those scenes, it's not completely Will just being like, uh-huh, like, I love you. And Mike just being like, mm-hmm, okay. It's both of them. It is definitely both of them. Hey guys, your girl is back again. I'm so sorry. But basically this whole time, I was trying to find this one quote that was from the original pitch of Stranger Things, but I could not find the original quote for the life of me. So I ended up resorting to this website called gizmodo.com and the article is titled The Original Pitch for Stranger Things That May Hold Clues About the Show's Future. Um... And they kind of summarized the original pitch, but all of the information is still the same. I'm not going to link it down below, but if you guys don't believe me, just look that up and it will give you the information you please. So, um, yeah, feel free to do that. Okay, bye. And also, what the hell, since I'm already recording all over all of this, why I look really aggressive here is because I'm basically <laughs> telling you guys that if any of you don't think that Will's gay, I'm leaving you with this quote that is literally telling you that will is gay so if you're coming at me with anything just know that literally this is the proof so um bada bang bada boom hey i'm walking here okay bye <laughs> during the first two seasons of stranger things will's story arc has been primarily focused on his connection to the upside down and much of his personality has been defined by the trauma he experiences originally though Will was pitched as a kid who was also coming to grips with his sexual identity. Coming that's absent from the show so far, after seeing Will spend two seasons as the group's resident oddball because of the time he spent in the Upside Down, and then being possessed by the Mind Flare, I'd be welcome to the change in pace of seeing him deal with more normal teenage drama like this. And there you go, my listeners. That is, like, cool. The, this is evident proof in the original pitch of Will's character he had sexual identity issues we have seen in the show that he's taken an attraction to Mike therefore we know that he's probably gay <laughs> um he could be like bi or pan or whatever but he's probably he's probably gay so in the comments, if you choose to fight with me, but to, like by all means, by all means, fight with me in the comments because I will love to fight back because you know I like to fight back. But just have you know that the original pitch for the show said that Will had sexual identity issues. Uh, it's like not early enough to go to, it's not like late enough to go to sleep, but it's like also not early enough to like do anything productive. So I'm just gonna like sit here and like possibly edit this video or not. Love you guys. Keep it, keep it fresh. Nope. Bye guys. <laughs> Ooh, I got wax on myself.